Hello and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. This tutorial is on the plugin World Edit. World Edit is normally used alongside World Guard. There'll be a link to this in the description below. Firstly, is selecting regions, although this isn't commonly used with the commands I'll show you anyway. The first commands are POS1 and POS2. These select the block that you're standing on to select a cuboid. The next one's HPOS1 and HPOS2. These select the blocks you are looking at to select a region. As I say, these aren't commonly used. Most people usually use the wand, and the command for this is double slash and then wand. And to use this, you simply left click and right click on the corners of the region. You can select a top block and a bottom block, and this will select a cuboid. If you do slash set, it sets the region as whatever the block you choose. So set gold, set water, set glass. You can also do it with the numbers. Set 20, probably not a good idea because this is glass, so it won't really show you. But set 5, set wood. So that's a really useful command for changing land. The next command is count. This counts the blocks inside a region. So, say I wanted to see how many diamonds were inside a certain area or any kind of block. For this instance, I'll show you with two blocks of gold inside the region. So, it said two blocks of gold are inside. I mean, this doesn't have to be just one layer. This can be from bedrock to the sky with the command vert. So, it could tell you anything. So, expand. 5 up and that, that's expanded the region upwards so now the region is into the sky and then 2 down that's expanded my region down and then expand 1 north that's expanded it 1 towards north and then if I set it to 0 it shows you how far it's expanded or we'll set it to gold and it will show you how far it's expanded up as well so you can see it just changes the size of the region and if I had world guard I could protect this region as I say there will be a link to this in the description below and if you set it to expand vert it will expand from bedrock right to the top of the sky I'll just make another floor quickly and the next command is undo and it undoes the last thing that you do. You can do this quite a few times, I think you can probably undo about 10 times. And then redo to redo a command that you've undone. And then replace replaces the block, so you replace gold with stone. Replace stone with gold. This will just replace that type of block inside the region. So if I show you with a different block inside this region, so if I put a couple of stone blocks down, and I'll replace these with water. So replace water. And there you go, you see it just changes the stone blocks into water and the gold's left intact. And then expand 5 up. So I've just set it upwards again so my region's bigger. And if I do walls, although I've done the command wrong, you do slash slash walls. And then stone, and it sets the walls of this region to stone. And the height will depend on how high your region is. And then undo. And then the next one is outline. So it's the same command, slash slash outline, and then the block type. And this will create walls, a roof, and a floor. So as you can see, there's a floor, there's a roof. So you could just smash the sides out, and that could be a door. So I'll just undo that. So, it's showing you in gold. 
the next command's a copy. So you stand in the corner, you have to remember that the further you stand back, the further it will be away when you paste it. So the easiest way is just to stand right next to where you want to be. You can also cut it, and then it will paste from where you were standing, so slash slash paste, and then it pastes. But it pastes the direction you were looking, so if I was facing north, it will paste north. So although I was facing south that time, it still faces the opposite way. So I'll just quickly undo that. And you can also rotate it so it can face the right way. This is in 90 degrees, so it's either 90, 180, or 270. So if I just rotate 180, and if I paste again, you'll see that it faces the correct way. So you can change this any direction you like. And the next one's for creating cylinders or spheres. So H sil stone and then the size so 5 by 10 5 is the width 10 is the height and you can see it's created a hollow cylinder so if I undo that I can create a solid cylinder as well so it's the same command just without the H so sill stone and then 5 10 so obviously trap me inside, so if I do slash top it will take me to the top. Just dig down a little bit to show you. And as you can see it's a solid cylinder. And the next one's a hollow sphere, so H sphere, and then 20 for glass, and then 6, so it creates a sphere around you. This is useful creating a sun in the sky, or maybe a spawn point or anything, it's really useful that one. And then the same again, just sphere, and that will create a solid sphere. As you can see I'm trapped inside the glass. So, quite a useful command these two. The next command is to spawn a forest, so it's slash forest gen 20. And I think this creates a forest within 20 blocks, I'm not really sure. It seems to just spawn a few trees about. So if I do it forest gen 20, and then you can set the type of wood, so birch trees. So you can see it spawned birch trees. So, oh, undo. So if I set it further, so forest gen 200. It'll take a while to load, so 2,900 trees. So I'm not really sure which direction the 200 is or what height it takes into consideration, but you can see it spawned a fair amount of trees. The next one's a pumpkin forest. So slash pumpkins 20 creates a pumpkin forest. I'm not really sure why it spawns with these logs and bits, but that's obviously what a pumpkin forest looks like. Fairly simple. Don't really know why you'd have it on, but. And the next command is drain. It drains water and lava out of a pit. So if you just do drain 5, 5 being the distance away from you. 
so as you can see it drains water and lava and you can also level the water and lava out so I'll just find the bucket of water and lava there we go so if I just pop some down then do fix water so slash slash fix water and then the radius 5 again as you can see it just fixes the water I'll show you with lava as well just place the lava down and then fix lava 5 there you go and this is really useful as well the next command is slash snow and then the radius you want it so snow 5 it just covers the floor in snow I mean, and then 4, 5 and that 4's it out so I'll just show you again with a bigger radius so snow 10 and then if I only 4, 5 there you go you can see that it 4's it out The next command is extinguish, that's just EX and then the distance. So as you can see, EX1 doesn't extinguish that far away. So that's about 5 away. And you can see that just puts it out. There you go. The next one's butcher. So if you get a mob, slash butcher and then the distance, it just kills the mob. That's a really useful one. The next command is the super pickaxe, which is just double slash and then enter. So that enables the super pickaxe, which means everything just breaks instantly. I mean, I can't really demonstrate this because I'm on creative mode anyway. And then the next one slash tree. And if I do tree random, it'll just spawn random trees. So as you can see, just a selection of trees. And it spawns all the different types. Well, there's also tree big, and that'll spawn a big tree, but this doesn't work on stone, as you can see. It has to be on grass, and that'll spawn a bigger tree. You can also set the type of this, so if you do big, big red tree or big birch tree, it'll spawn one of them. So I'll just undo that quickly. And the next command slash CEIL, which takes you to the ceiling. So that just takes you two blocks under the ceiling and creates a glass block under your feet. So I'll just show you again quickly. So this could be good if you're changing blocks up there and you haven't got creative mode on. And then you can also travel through it with the command through. T-H-R-U and that will travel through the wall. But if there's something behind it it won't so no free spot ahead of you. Just show you again on a building, through, some inside, and then through, I'll be on the outside, and there we go. And the next one's jump to, that'll jump to wherever you're looking, so jump to, you have to make sure you're looking at a block though, because if you're not it won't jump, so for instance that doesn't jump anywhere. And it can jump quite far, so if I turn around and face back at spawn, I can jump all the way to that building just by looking at it. So, that's a pretty useful tool as well. And then you've got top, which will take you to the top of it. So slash top, it takes you to the next floor. And then you've got up 5, 
or up 10 or however high you want to go and this just takes you up and creates a glass block under your feet Thanks for watching, I hope this video has helped, if it has please remember to rate, subscribe and comment.